properly. I, I have no idea, but I think I am live right now. I think I am. <laughs> uh, Dr. Junk says, what's up? Hey guys, what's up? It's Ricardo, DFW Junk Guys, Junk Removal Service. Um, I actually was testing out my camera, my 4K camera, and um, I got Dr. Junk in my ear right now. He's, he's right here. And uh, I just wanted to go live and talk about a, a subject that was um, bothering me earlier today that I was getting, uh, that I actually got asked. So somebody asked me this subject and then I said, uh, you know what? Let me get into it. Let me dive into it. So a gentleman this morning called me. He was from, and I'm going blank right now, but uh, this guy, <coughs> this guy was from a, another state, and I'm trying to think of the state that's who is. What's up, Art? How are you, buddy? So I'm using a 4K camera this time, guys. So I have a 4K camera, and that's what I'm using. So it, it's a bigger, uh, bigger expansion of, of the usual things. And I think things are supposed to look clearer. So let me know or if things are looking clearer or I'm never gonna use this damn camera again. So this camera was really, really expensive and I never use it and I decided to use it today just to do this video right now. And the potential of, of using this camera was supposed to get me, you know, a, 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 uh, a lot more, hey Yamato, I'm actually live on a video, so check me out, brother, okay? Check me out, I'm live right now. Yes, sir. Um, so, one of the things that I, that I wanted to talk about was, um, you know, these videos that I go live with all the time, and uh, and and not, not only that, that was not the reason why I wanted to do this, but I got a phone call earlier today, okay? Thank you, New England, thank you guys. Uh, and the phone call that I got, and I'm trying to, okay, here we go. We got New England, Art, we got Raptor Half, Naughty, okay, cool. And um, here's what I want to talk about. First, I'm going to, oh, better quality than before. Thank you, Raul. Uh, one of the things I want to get into was the fact that, um, and I'm going to slide this over some. I got to slide this over so I can't see everything. There we go. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about was links backlinks and links and just overall links to the website i want you to understand how these links work because i think it's really important that these links that we're doing here um properly work and you're using them to your best advantage because i don't think a lot of people understand what what jesus christ decline that i don't think a lot of people understand um what the links are and how they work, okay? And Marvin says, you will only legitimize those apps if you talk about them. I'm not gonna talk about those apps, Marvin. Or, uh, I'm not talking about those apps. What I wanna talk, <laughs> yeah, I don't wanna legitimize any of those apps. Um, I wanna actually put them down because I don't think they're very helpful for the business, you know what I mean? I think these there's somebody out there that are doing apps for the junk removal business and it doesn't really benefit us. I think all it does is drive the, the price down on what we do, okay? So um, honestly, I got on this thing, uh, on this video to rant. I wanna rant about a few things and I wanna talk about just a few things uh, about the website, how you design your website and what you should do to your website. But overall, just ask, answer a lot of questions because I've been getting a lot of questions that I'm not getting to in the last few days. Um, these questions are questions that, um, that that people what's the hell what's going on here okay that people ask me but i'm never able to get to them and i want to answer them right now um i want to be able to uh get some of these questions out of the way okay and go and i don't i hate ignoring people you know what i mean but people ask me these questions all the time and i'm like you know what this is a good chance that i knock these out get them out for the rest of the day and any new questions that there are out there i'll be glad to answer them right now you know what I mean? Uh, I want to answer them right now and stuff like that. Um, okay. Um, so, oh man. So here's the first question. <laughs> Somebody asked me about the saw saw that I use. First of all, I pronounce saw saw wrong. It's called saws. 
Uh, I call it a salsa because that's how I was raised to call a salsa. So if y'all saw me uh, yesterday, I cut a hot tub in half. I did a live video and then I did a quick video this morning on the video. Anyway, I did a time lapse video. So the video that I did, uh, I use a salsa, okay? And I did have an epic fail on, on, on the video. The blade that I use with a Diablo carbide blade, and I think people want to know it's a Diablo carbide blade, so I want to get that out of the way really quick. Uh, and here's another issue that we had with it. Someone asked, on the comments they asked if I can use a chainsaw. Okay, so you can, I mean, I, not a chainsaw, uh, goddamn, a log cutter. What do you call those, like chainsaw? No, it's not a call of chainsaw. Yes, it is a chainsaw. So they ask, quality is gone. Well, that sucks. I don't know what's going on here. This sucks. This camera is so nice, too. Um, they asked if they can use a chainsaw. And I told them, if you want fiberglass all over your body, use a chainsaw. But that's what a chainsaw does. We used a chainsaw a long time ago to do a hot tub. And I'm going to tell you, what it does is when you use the chainsaw, the blade kicks back and will kick all that uh, that that fiberglass all on your skin and it does cut it and it's good at cutting it but it will get you all dirty and it's awful do not use a chainsaw to cut a hot tub it is a stupid move i don't ever recommend it don't do it okay guys not good for you okay um don't do that um Another question that I got asked was on about Craigslist. Uh, how would you hire your employees? Or would you independently contract them? For, for tax reasons, yes. You want to indep independently contract anybody that you can. You want to be able to uh, contract that person um, and just pay them on a daily basis and pay them cash if you can. If you want to even, uh, you know, and that's up to you if you want to follow them on your taxes and stuff like that, okay? Totally, totally up to you. Um, but they asked me where I got my workers. Now, I only get workers if I need them, if, if, I, if I have a big, big job and I, I need to complete that job. Now, tomorrow is going to be a good video. I'm removing a lot, a lot of apple juice, okay? So I'm removing a lot of apple juice tomorrow. So that's where we'll talk about that later, okay? But it doesn't matter. Um, Ricardo, uh, school for junk removal classes starting. Oh, that's funny. Um, what goes on the internet, people? I'm just going through questions that people ask me. If they're good questions, I'll, um, I'll ask. Uh, I was wondering if you ever taken a job. Okay. Hey, man, love your videos. I was wondering if you ever taken a job where you needed to wear bio suits. And this was asked by a person named MR005227. And he wants to know if I've ever taken a job using hazard suits. Okay. If y'all remember in Frisco, Texas, I did a meth lab that was outside. They were growing meth. And um, I did do it. Now, I did not use a hazard hazmat suit. I should have. We did not know there was meth there. They were going meth. Uh, nobody told me. The officers, the ATF, the people that were there before did not tell me anything about it. So we weren't prepared. And really, honestly, we just wanted to get the job done. And that's what we did. Okay, guys. So if you're wondering, there's another question for you. Now, if you've got any questions that are live, I'm going to be glad to answer these questions today. My day is done. It is 2.12 p.m. We only managed to get two jobs done today. We did another hot tub today. We did one yesterday. We did another hot tub today. And then we cleaned up this really cool sports uh, sports arena where they play soccer, uh, two indoor. It's in Frisco, Texas. It was pretty cool. It was pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, let me see. Um, hey, Ricardo, what do I need to get a... A website through you started. Kevin Webster asked me what we have to do to get a website started through me. Well, I'll tell you something, Kevin. Um, just give me a call. We can talk, brother. You know, my phone number's on the links below. I always keep my phone number underneath. Just call me and uh, we'll talk. We'll see how it goes, okay? Um, let me see what else we got. Illegally dumping at a commercial building. Uh, shit. Man. What about getting a bad check as payment? Oh, so when you get checks... Uh, the question was asked me, if I get a check, do I ever get checks that are bad? I rarely get a check that's bad. I think in the last uh, six years, uh, I have gotten two checks that are bad. So one was for like $45, which I didn't care. And the other one was um, 250 bucks. I remember. Yeah, that one I did care about. It was kind of sucked because um, it, it just sucks. You know what I mean? Another question. Um, if you tell them ahead you are being recorded and they decide to stay on the phone or hang up, it, it, it's real easy. What, what is this? 
what is this? Avila, oh, Avila asked me the question. When I record my customers, are they okay with me recording them on video? Uh, here's what I do, Avila, and this is a great question here. I love questions like this. The thing is, when I go and I um, record a job, I tell the people, hey, I'm doing this. Um, I do, I'm doing this for, um, <coughs> for uh, my YouTube channel. Do you mind if I record it? And they say, yeah. And I said, okay, and you might be in it too. And they'll laugh or they'll say no, or sometimes they'll play it off. But most of the time people don't care. Uh, I play it off really cool. Like it's not a big deal. Like my channel's not a big deal. And most of the time they're really, really cool about it. And they, they don't mind at all. They don't mind at all. Uh, but I do ask, and sometimes I just pull the camera out, and it's showtime, okay? Um, uh, but, but, but I get money back in 30 seconds. Here we go. Um, you don't need. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm just going down the line of questions. I go, oh, uh, Jeremiah Yambadago. I want to talk about him. He calls me, and we talk all the time. He's got a junk removal directory. He's got an online directory for junk removal service. And he wanted me to plug it for him. Okay, so it's called the junk removal association dot info. I want people to check it out. Give this guy a chance. He just started doing junk removal, but what he's trying to do is legitimize junk removal and put us all in a directory. And this directory is supposed to help us, uh, you know, find out where everybody's at and what part of the country, what United States, city, where, where you're at. And it's just a junk removal directory. All it is is you put your information in, in what state and city you are and stuff like that. It's at www.junkremovalassociation.info. I checked it out the other day. It's pretty interesting. It's just a directory. That's all it is, guys. But if you have a chance, check it out. Uh, the owner of it is Jeremiah Yambadago. Whatever. Oh, my gosh. I forgot. Uh, another question that I got asked. Uh, you mentioned this video, WW Bukio, Dustin Real Estate. Okay. Um, oh, tips for Google My Business. Great question, Dean Ridge. And I will ask answer that question because I'm a master when it comes to uh, uh, Google My Business. So if you want to get ranked on Google My Business uh, high, here's what I want you to do. I want you to be sure that you get Google My Business and you put it on crack. Okay, I mean, you put as much as information as you can on it. Do not stop. And then when you still are doing it, um, keep on keep on adding more information on it uh, on uh, Google My Business. Because here, here's what's happening: the more pictures that you put on Google My Business, the more content that you put on Google My Business, the better off your business is. Okay. Uh, one of the things I do is I add video and I add pictures, a shitload of pictures. Then I geotag my pictures. In other words, I change the name of each picture and then I call it maybe junkremovaldallas.jpg.com and I just copy and paste a lot of them. So that is a great tip for Google My Business. Now, okay, so you think that's the only tip for Google My Business? I don't. I have a lot of more tips. Be sure that you're posting on Google My Business. I think Google My Business is the future of websites and how to get links to websites to enhance your content, but not only enhance your content, but help you rank higher. I want you to know that Google My Business is a very, very, very uh, advanced uh, app to help you grow SEO for your website, and you should definitely take advantage of it because it works really, really good. So I'm going to tell you again, add video. If it's a 10 second video, add it. If it's a minute, add it. Uh, add pictures on Google My Business. And be sure you're doing daily posts on Google My Business. I do daily posts on Google My Business. Uh, I do weekly posts on it too. I, I post small videos. I'm always posting something on Google My Business. It is very important that you uh, do something with Google My Business and link to Google My Business. Be sure that you're linking your website to Google My Business account. It will help you out very very much okay so a1 junk removal are we still on for thursday you know what a1 you had just mentioned to me uh about um um oh something happened here there's something happened here i lost my connection on one of my phones uh okay and what happened is that um is valentine's day we're still doing it
We're still going to do it. So we're still on. If you're welcome to come, nope. You know, I've only had two people reach out to me, so it might be the only two people that come out uh, on 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 Thursday. But uh, if you're going to come out A1, that's great. Just let me know, dude, because nobody's really contacted me about it. I was trying to help out people with this stuff. Um, let me see what I got. Uh, what else? Uh, it only uh, it does it New England. I have no idea New England if it does or does not. If it allows only one minute videos, I have a lot of one minute videos. Um, I tell people to do short videos of you removing a hot tub. You're, uh, let's just say you're removing a hot tub. Just do the ending of the hot tub. Hey, we're loading the hot tub into the truck. This is New England pickers and debris. So, so I'm going to start from the beginning. I'm going to use New England pickers and debris removal LLC as. Um, as an example, and it's really, really easy, okay? New England, uh, what's your phone number? Will you put it down there and we'll put, put your name down there so I can do this fake commercial really fast for 30 seconds. So you can add it to Google My Business account, okay? So you can add it to Google My Business account, and it will help your um, Really quick, I'm gonna, I want you to add these videos to Google My Business. You can do them on your phone. I did most of my videos on my phone that I add to Google My Business because I'm not going to format it and do a whole technical fucking video for Google My Business. Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? That would take me all day. So I'm, I'm just telling y'all, if y'all don't mind, um, New England, will you put your information down there so I could just repeat it when I do my commercial? Holy shit, what am I looking at? Oh, here it goes. Wow, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Um, so if you could give me your info, I'd appreciate that, and then we'll go from there. Don't forget, guys, uh, j try out junkremovalassociation.info. It is an online directory. That, I don't know what I'm looking at. You're looking at my stuff on the side of the building. I try to adjust it. Something happened. I had no idea what happened. Um, so here we go, guys. Leah Jensen, Lee Jensen, Lee Jensen. I hope it's Lee Jensen. Okay, guys. So when you do a short version video, be sure you're holding your camera. Of course, I got my GoPro right here. Um, so I'm just going to use my GoPro as an example somewhere around here. God, it's not even hooked up, to be honest with you. It's, uh, well, I got so many GoPros right now. Okay, so there's one. Okay, let's just pretend there's a GoPro on the end of this. I have no idea where it's at. So we're just going to attach anything to it. This is crazy. So, you know, what I do, what I would do is attach a phone to the end of this thing right here and just do a quick video. Hey guys, my name's Lee. I'm with New England Pickers and Debris Removal LLC here in the New England area. Guys, listen, I am just finished removing this hot tub. It's $300. It's a flat fee. If you need your hot tub removed, give me a call, okay? It's 1-844-603-JUNK. We will come out. We service the whole New England area. Give me a call. Talk to y'all later. So it's really easy to do a video just like that, guys. You can knock it out um, and... Um, just add that to your Google My Business account. I don't know how long I talked for, but maybe it was 35 seconds, 40 seconds, but a video like that would be great for Google My Business. Okay, guys, so I hope that helps y'all out. How to crank out, add a lot of pictures, add more content to Google My Business, and the way you add content is by adding pictures, video, and posting on a daily basis. That will help you out tremendously, tremendously a lot, okay? A lot, 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 lot. All right, um, <laughs> so there's the cool thing about the Google My Business. Now, um, I'm going to keep on reading and more questions. Unless I get questions out of here uh, that I can do. Uh, yeah, no problem, New England. That was cool. That was cool. Uh, we have super No problem. Uh, teddy bear, expensive. Diego, sorry if I missed double vision. No problem. So Diego, I was, I was picking on Diego on another video a couple of days ago. He did come in with a hangover. I'm going to tell you that. That was not a lie. He had a hangover. I do not drink or I smoke, but Diego does drink a lot. And he came in with a ha hangover, and it was he pissed me off. He, I had to tell him everything like three times just to do one thing. Um, and I'm trying to look, invest in a truck and trailer. So people ask me this question all the time, and I get the question, and I'm just going to repeat it really quick. Uh, we're just going to do this one more time. Uh, do you recommend a dumpster trailer or just an uh, enclosed trailer? I always love enclosed trailers. Most of the, my business and my money is made with enclosed trailers, so I don't have a problem with enclosed trailers. Uh, I'd rather do enclosed trailers than anything else, guys. Um, an enclosed trailer is cheaper. It's, uh, you don't have to worry about hydraulics, electric, stuff like that. 
Um, you know, you don't have to worry about, you know, being with the DOT or nothing. A 16 foot trailer can make you as much as money as a dumpster trailer. I know, you know what? I ain't gonna lie to you. A 16 foot trailer can make you more money than a dumpster trailer. Plus a 16 foot uh, enclosed trailer holds more than my 12 yard dumpster. So there you go, if that helps you out. I like it, it's less wear and tear on your truck, it's less heavy, you're just pulling out a normal trailer. You can pull a normal trailer with an F-150 if you want. I wouldn't do it, but you can, you can. I wanna throw a shout out to Sunrise Junk Hauling in LA, Cali. Um, I wanna throw a shout out to them. So hi guys, how you doing man? Um, okay man, man Mr. Ricardo, this was from Lakeview. Lakeview sends me, you're successful because you know how to negotiate, that's what, oh. <laughs> this is about the guy who tried to Jew me down, that asshole. And you know what? He called me out last week and I did a job for him and I'm calling him an asshole right now. Um, here we go. I get it. People do this all the time. No pay, no junk. Junk in the backyard. What pro oh, what program do I use uh, to do my videos, guys? Uh, the program that I use to do my videos, uh, when I edit the videos, so if y'all looked at today's video, uh, today's video was edited using Wonder Wondershare. It's called Filmora Wondershare, okay? So it's called Filmora, but it's uh, Wondershare. So there you go, okay? Um, I, think it's, uh, I think it's a great application. It's an amateur hour application, but it does work. And uh, if you get a chance, try Filmora. I think it's like $49 for the whole package. Um, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But it's, it's really easy software to use. Um, here we go. Uh, Junk Ninja says, I have a baseball cap my GoPro mounts onto. Uh, yeah, I use the head mount every once in a while. Uh, I don't use it as much as I thought when I first bought it. Uh, but I have the head mount. It's, it's somewhere in my bag right here, brother. I'm trying to sh get it for you. Um, but this head mount, there was a few problems with the head mount. So here it is. So this is what you do. You put the little head mount right here. And there it is right there. So, ah. Uh, we only use this whenever like it's cool that we have like constables on the property or something like that where we want to get their point of view and stuff like that. Um, we'll use this camera, uh, Junk Ninja, but I don't ever really use it to do my full v videos. I have done these videos um, in the past. Uh, when I first started doing junk removal, I used this camera primarily. This was my number one camera I ever used, believe it or not, until I grew out of it and went to other sophisticated cameras and then went from there. And I've been looking for this thing for a long, long time. Uh, I just want to throw my shout outs to also my boy, Joe. He's with Supreme Junk Removal, uh, Supreme Empire Junk Removal in Las Vegas. He gave me this. This is awesome. It's a charger. Always have a charger for your cameras, okay? Um, New England Picker says, I have a 7 by 14, 7, 14, 7 foot tall inside, was only $4,400, 40, $4, brand new, 7 that was 98 plus 500 for wood to extend the size taller trailer. I think he's talking about dumpster trailers. I think he's talking about dumpster trailers. I'm not sure. Um, and oh, he, he retracted a question. I'm not sure. I can't see it no more. So there it is. Uh, let me see. Uh, can you disclose and or share the app you are using, Joist? I don't know who that is. I would fire that client who didn't want to pay, and I was sure he'll not go back. Let him find out someone else to be his bitch. The Ninja Picker. <laughs> the Junk Ninja. That's funny. I think I would block that guy's number. Yeah, dude, what are you using for billing? It would like to extend. Uh, so, yeah, what am I using for billing? How do I do billing? I do Street Invoice. Street Invoice is an app only only located only located on um, phone Android uh, I think it's an Apple thing but it's called street invoice you can upgrade for a higher I just use a standard one for invoicing it works really good for me so I'm not bullshit I don't know where Diego's at Diego's doing something um, how much do they charge me at the landfill per ton it's fifty dollars and eighty eight cents that's what I change um, uh, that's what they charge me at the landfill. Um, so there you go. I got another flat today, by the way. Just want to throw that out there. Can you make multiple domains show up in Google search, though, or adjust your primary? Uh, I would adjust my primary and make another copy of that. Um, uh, oh, shit. Supreme Empire's on board. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. 
I do got an itch in my hair. Uh, this is a really great for a back scratcher, uh, like this, or any way back here. It's really, really good. Uh, I forgot who gave me this thing, but it was awesome. Really good. It had to be nice to see what you had in your hand if I had my glasses. <laughs> I didn't read it. That is funny. Your glasses are still on my table, too. Oh, shit. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. Does your website URL really help you? Yes, it was. Okay. You made nice, brother. Clutter Brothers. Okay, so I get a lot of people um, also requesting that I do night videos because they're on like the East Coast or West Coast, so the time difference is really big time. Uh, right now, so I'm doing this video at 2.29, and they don't. it's really like 11 somewhere or it's 4 o'clock somewhere. Um, wow, New England, 100. Well, stop winning fucking Super Bowls. And maybe that wouldn't have a problem, dude. Fuck. Give a dog a bone over here, you know? Throw us a fucking... We got damn... Dak, Dick Prescott over here. You got Tom Brady the goat, you know? Shit, cut us a break, bro. Yeah, when are y'all ever gonna lose damn games so someone else can go to the Super Bowl? That sucks. I appreciate your videos and you uh, sub me out. It helps me. So, okay, so people are comparing me. Oh my God, OMG, this video was so funny. It was sure to come up, but funny and heck. I noticed Diego's, okay, man bun. Diego does have a ponytail on the back of his head. I wanna talk to you about the ponytail. Usually when I'm mad, I pull it just to fuck around with him, but he does have a ponytail. Um, so somebody uh, compared me to the, another uh, junk removal service that's in Vegas, okay? And I want to talk to y'all about this other junk removal company that's in Vegas. I'm not going to throw any jabs at this guy uh, at all. I'm not, I don't want to say anything bad about that idiot that's in Vegas. Um, I don't want to throw any jabs at him, okay? But... Do me a favor, guys, and I want you to do me a big, big favor. If you are keeping up and comparing me to the guy in Vegas that does videos like this, okay? Do me a favor. If you're thinking that the same knowledge... Damn it, these glasses are dirty. If you're thinking the same knowledge that I feed you and he feeds you are the same or identical or anything like that... Um, and you're saying you, you want to compare, what the fuck is up with these glasses? You want to compare my uh, channel to his channel? These glasses are horrible. They're so dirty. Um, Dean Ridge is paying $67 a ton in his city. So uh, the question was, how do you compare yourself to the guy in, um, <coughs> they give me his name, in Las Vegas, Junk Mob. Um, so I don't really want to talk anything bad about him, but I want you to compare I want you to compare my channel with his channel, okay? And then my channel with his channel, okay? So here's what I want you to do. If you are a fan of the guy in, in uh, Las Vegas and you are a subscriber to my channel, unsubscribe to my channel. Because if you're going from his channel to my channel, he's making you stupid and then you're going to just be stupid on my channel. You know what I mean? I don't want you to be stupid. I want people that l want to learn and want to see some funny videos on my channel. If you want some bullshit and, and shit that's made up and just some crack shit, go to his channel, but you're welcome to unsubscribe my channel. Okay, guys, I join anybody. Uh, if you want real knowledge, stay on my channel. If you want some bullshit, here's what you do. Go to a dog park, and wait until a dog shits, okay? And that's the same kind of information you're gonna get on another channel, okay? Now, I, 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 like I said, I'm not gonna bring up his name, but don't compare me to somebody else. It's like comparing the New England Patriots to the Dallas Cowboys. We are far from fucking being dominant. And I go and I do a comparison. I don't wanna be a dick to the guy, um, the owner of the Las Vegas junk removal service down there, but don't compare me to him. We are two different beasts, okay? It's like a, a Lamborghini and a Volkswagen. So we, we just don't compare us, to, compare me to him, guys. Uh, if you do, if you like his videos, stay on his channel, but don't bring that negativity over my channel. I have a great, a great following here. I love all the people that listen to me, but that dude sells some shit over there that's just bullshit and it's just made up funny. There it is. I'm, I'm done with it. I don't want to make a big deal out of it anymore. Fuck him. Okay, there you go. Yeah, thank you. I'm, I'm glad someone thinks it's funny because I think it's funny. 
you know, um, it's not about the subscribers to me. It's not about like when I go live and I get 20 people. Um, it's not about that. It's the amount of information that I give y'all guys is, is always great technical information and will help you in the long run. I just want you to take this information and do something with it. And when someone's teaching you caca, you're going to turn into caca. You know what I mean? And I just feel that so there's somebody out there d giving y'all caca. So don't, you know, don't do that. Um, again, uh, I want to talk to y'all. Let me see. Uh, <coughs> I did a great ad for Junk Boss. And I did another ad for Cardinal Junk Removal just in the last few days. Uh, I wish they would post them online. I, I, I forgot to post them online. Um, the cardboard boxes that I did for, uh, for uh, I'm sorry, for Target. Uh, someone wanted to know how I priced them. $400 a load, and one day I did two loads, and then still did like three other jobs that day, so yeah. Um, it was uh, it was not heavy at all. I went and disposed of it for free, so it was really free work. It was really, really easy, um, and this was asked by Matt N. Matt, uh, yeah, I disposed of them at a recycling cardboard center. I threw them right out for free. It, um, it was really, really easy, so there you go. Um, just, you know what I mean? Just, if you can find a recycling center, that'd be great. Someone just posted someone. Um, okay, he just wants to talk about how many fancy cars he bought. Well, he needs to buy a fucking truck or whatever. Well, we're both in the same boat. I buy shitty trucks anyway. Uh, except I use my trucks. He uses his truck to do videos on. I use my trucks to work. Um, great message and quotes at the end. I'm in the process of starting junk removal business. Uh, great motivation. Donovan Rivers. Thank you, Donovan. Donovan came by here, by the way. He's a local guy. Um, the difference between Mexican, Texan, oh, okay, I think that's it, I went to the bottom, I think, uh, I don't want to be caught, oh, A1 Junk, <laughs> A1 David, uh, Banda from A1 Junk Removal says, I don't want to be caca, and Andrew Bay, Andrew, A, uh, Andrew Abe says, is $10 a good monthly advertising budget, no, it's not, Andrew, where the fuck did you get that number from? Uh, if I was you, I would concentrate on Craigslist, spend $45 a week, that's $180 a month. Just do that, man, 180 bucks, and it'll pay off in the first week anyway. And just keep on doing it. That's what I we are do, doing here. We spend about 180 a month on, on Craigslist. We shouldn't even spend it on Craigslist, but we do. Uh, um, we do it anyway. So today, um, today we... Um, we did uh, no Craigslist ads. I haven't even posted my Craigslist, but I'm going to. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to hit Craigslist really hard on Wednesday. I do uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays because those are the best days to post. Sundays are two for Monday, but I never post on um, Sundays, guys. But, Andrew, that is awful. That is awful. I hope you're joking when you say that. I hope you're joking when you say that. I got this uh, right here, this candle right here, from a junk removal uh, two days ago or a day ago. Something like this. Oh, just Andrew Abe says, I just, one of your pals just posted a video with that. With what? With what? Tell me, Andrew, what? what, what? Is $10 a good monthly advertising on budget or Craigslist? What? What was it about? Just tell me what it was, Andrew. Now, you got me intrigued. I want to go online and look at it right now. Uh, who, who did it? Who did it? Uh, about posting online Craigslist or whatever it is. Man, that candle smells good. Man. Do they make NyQuil candles? Because I got a, a cold and, um, whoa, what is going on here? Um, uh, nice shop, thanks for the amazing information. Reason, Jacome, hey, what's up, brother? How's it going, New England Pickers? Uh, we do Craigslist, do pretty good, and we are on Realtor pages, uh, Facebook pages, post there. Oh, cool. Yeah, uh, uh, Realtors, to hit up Realtors with emails, it's really, really good. Uh, I recommend that. Uh, go to the Facebook of Realtors and hit them up. Oh, so Junk Mob, I don't, you know, I don't watch this guy's channels. Ever since, um, um, uh, what, do you, what do you say? Albino Buffalo, what's up? What's up? Let me see what he's, what he's talking about. Jesus, I hate looking at this guy's stuff. Do not go to his web, uh, his YouTube channel. I'm going to it right now, but I recommend nobody go to it except me. Oh my God, he's looking crazy. What is this? <laughs> uh, 
Ten dollars advertising budget a month. He got me fucked up. He listen. He don't do shit. He just he likes what he does is look for keywords. Uh, and uh, he looks for keywords, and these keywords are you know people are interested in ten dollars a month. You know what I mean? Advertising. So I am gonna go live on Thursday night. I got uh, I'm doing some stuff on Thursday night. This Thursday night. Isn't that like Thursday night? I'm only going to be here a couple hours, but uh, yeah, we're doing something. I have, I think we're doing something, Dean, but uh, we'll go live with it. You know, like we went live for the summit, 2018 summit. Um, the 2019 summit is about eight months away, seven months away, eight, nine months away. Um, who's going to make that, guys? 2019 Junk Removal Summit is going to be uh, a great summit. 2019, we're gonna have um, Adam. Adam, uh, we're gonna have Levine perform, Lady Gaga. We're gonna have Miley Cyrus perform. We're gonna have speakers. Uh, oh my God! No, we're not. I just thought it sounded funny. Anyway, dump trailer or Zizu truck dump trailer. Don't don't get any Zizu, man. I hate these foreign cars, man. Currently decided, Albino, don't do that. Um, I think an Isuzu truck is a small engine. You need a big engine, okay? Uh, most of these Isuzu trucks are six-cylinder, um, and they're they're not great vehicles. Four-cylinder sideways, too. Also, what are some tips on keeping your head up when business is bad? Golly, that's great. You know what, Albino? When business is down, work on your website. Work on your website. And if you don't know what to do, pick up the phone and fucking call me. I'll give you plenty of things to do for your website. And if you don't know what to do on your website and it's cranked out because it's godly to you, okay, if I go on your website and you have four fucking pages on your website, I'll buy them, add 14 more, okay? You'll find something to do. And if your social media, if you're not on Facebook, Twitter, WordPress, a Tumblr, uh, uh, LinkedIn, and you're not on those, get on those, okay? Because I'm on them and I post all the time on them. Um, Andrew Abe, he said he's only, he, he, his only advertising money spent $10 to GoDaddy for a website. Uh, yeah, his website's not even ranked high, so he, yeah, he's not even spending up on that. Um, so Pima Empire, Joe says, you're doing the summit again in August, October. Yeah, dude, we're doing the summit in October, bro. We are definitely doing the summit on October, and I'm going to do it my way or the highway, you know what I mean? I'm going to look at uh, my way or the highway on that one, okay? Oh, shit. I can't show this. Okay, there it is. So Albino wants me to look at their website, cgjunkremoval.com. You can look there. I'll take a look at it when I'm done, brother. No problem. Uh, William Friends showing up late, but I'm here. At least you're here, brother. I'm about to go, but uh, at least you're here. Okay? Let me see. Ooh, uh, going to post a video. I got a short video of a video. Of the video. Oh, okay. <coughs> so... I hope those are other questions. I've been here for 36 minutes, guys. Um, I guys, I just wanted to really go on a rant about a few things and answer some of these questions. You are welcome to ask me questions, uh, send me emails, send me anything you can, anytime you want. And I always do these videos or Q&A videos. I always talk about cool things that I get in junk removal too. But this week I only got this calendar, this thing. I've been doing a lot of ho ass jobs that I'm not getting cool stuff at. But I got this cool calendar, this cool uh, used uh, um, uh, fucking candle. So that's all I got for right now. So well, there you go. You know. Uh, all right, guys. So I'll talk to y'all later. If y'all like this video, don't forget to subscribe over there on the right side, on the left side. Check out my other videos. I will talk to y'all later. And thanks for everybody staying tuned on this video, guys. Okay? Oops. What did I do there? Bye-bye. Oh, I got to slide this to stop. I'm not sure how to do this.